In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for another time in your presence. Lord, in in few minutes, let your word come alive. And um, may you meet us at the point of our needs. In Jesus' name. So we are in Lent season, and um, I only have 15 minutes to <laughs> bring out what I want to share, and I hope God helps me. So Reverend um, called me and said that we should talk about prayer and um, meditation, two key um, terms that we need to come to, to know about. And um, the Bible passage, I really want to bring out in addition to the ones that we have read here that touched me was Acts of the Apostles chapter chapter 8. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So. Sorry, I want, I'm looking at um, where the apostles devoted themselves to the teaching and in prayer. I think is it what? Axis, yes. So, yes. And in those days, when the number of disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministrations. Then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them and said, Is it not reason that we leave the word of God and serve tables? Wherefore, brethren, look you at among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Now, in the next 10 minutes, I want to share a body, and then we are going to pray. Verse 1 said, in those days when the number of the disciples were multiplied. So, the church had a growth. They had an increase. They had an expansion. And um, it now came to activities of the ministry, serving tables, and they said no, that... They started murmuring and complaining. Some of the brethren started murmuring and complaining. And I want to bring it down to us as Christians. You know, most times when we talk about prayer and devotion and dedication and the meditation on God's word, we normally think about when things are hard. The only time we, we meditate, the only time we tend to sit down and think about our life is when things are what? Tough. When things are not going well for your life, then you sit down and then that's the only time human beings take a pause to sit down and meditate. But whenever things are going on very well, what do you happen? You keep on maintaining the pace. You keep on planning ahead and keep on strategizing, drawing up plans on what to do, which is still good. And we notice that the apostles started growing in number. The Bible said disciples were multiplied. So the ministry was increasing. So, and there were plans to be done. But it now led to what? Issues that had to do with the ordering of what the ministry. And the, the 12 said, no, that was not what God called us to. God called us to a life of what? Verse 4. To a prayer and the ministry of the word. And they say, we will appoint people that will do that. Why would we dedicate ourselves to ministry of the word and prayer? Now, my prayer point this morning is that um, we are in Canada, and I know that things m- may look tough. I don't know what you are going on in your, what is going on in your own personal life. I don't know what is going on there, but compared to where you are coming from, I think there is a progress compared to what is happening back home. I think we have we are making progress in any little way you can attribute to that, you know. So there is this tendency to keep on what drawing plans. Some people landed in this place and then they forsake God and say, we are not here to count bridge. We are here to do what? To make money. So, they put God aside and did what? And went on a course, on a pathway to do what? To make it in life. And then, I think, I hope you saw what happened last week about the the access bank shareholder that died. When I looked at the retirement home in Butte, that thing, I wept. That thing hurt me for days. I'm like, so why do we now struggle in this life? That one day you have a breath, and the next day it is what? It's gone. 
it's gone. So some of us, we, and these are things that happen in life that should teach you what? Sit back and meditate and ask yourself, what am I really doing on this earth? That if a man can plan and build a house for himself, if you see that house, with everything set, and in just like this, everything is gone. Everything is gone. So what am I living for? And I used to say, because we are in this land, you want to hit it, you want to hit the ground running. And then you continue running at the end of 30, 40 years down the line. You ask yourself, so what have I achieved? How much of this running around has been under God's purpose for my life? Now, I'm not teaching about God's purpose. That one is another topic on its own. All I want us to achieve in this little time I have is whatever that happened to the apostles that made them that at the point of increase, they could still sit back and reflect on what is God's purpose for my life. May it happen to me. May it happen to you. Whatever that will make me, even in this land of increase, I'm in Canada and God is prospering me, whatever that will happen in my life that will make me to still take account of what is happening in my life, am I fulfilling God's purpose? Let it happen what? To me, to you. Whatever that will come out from that taking of an account, glory be to God. But may I be able to take a pause to ask about what is God's purpose for my life? Not because I'm suffering. Not because I have issues around me. But even in victories, increase, I can still sit back and meditate on God's word. Let it happen in my life. That is the prayer point for today. So because we have brethren and the only time we meditate, like I said, is only when there's an issue. That's when we call for meeting. That's when we call for prayer meeting. That's when we call for... But whenever there is increase, maybe you pass the exam, you achieve the victory. <laughs> it is to continue to plan ahead. And we forget God. The apostle said, no. We bless God for the increase. We bless God for the promotion. We bless God for what? The breakthroughs. But that's not what God calls us to. If we go through this pathway, we'll end up serving what? Tables. But we need to sit back and get back to the basis of which is the word? The ministry of the word and prayer. We are talking about Lent. Jesus Christ, you know, journey to the cross. And it won't make sense if in a day you don't bring out any time to think and meditate and ask God, what is your plan for your life? What is the plan for my life? And I want to round up with this. May God help you that in activities of life, you will create that time to ask your maker. What is my mission here on earth? And there's no request, it's not a prayer point you pray one day and you go. It's a prayer point that you keep on praying and keep on unfolding for you the pathway for your life. It's another different pathway, but may God bring me to that point where I can sit down. May God quiet my soul. My busy life that is full of activity. May God quiet me and make me to sit still. Because it's a man that can sit still that can be able to pray. Is a man that sits still that can be able to fast. Is a man that can sit still that can be able to meditate on God's word. If your life is so busy, how can God's word be coming up out of your spirit, man? How? And I'm not saying this thing because anybody, I'm saying it because in the midst of increase, we still need to be about the master's business. These people might have ended up serving tables and it might be good in Jerusalem, but this is not what God called them to do. Let us pray. My time is up. And the prayer point is, Lord, in the midst of activities of life, in the midst of breakthroughs, in the midst of victories, in the midst of success, in the midst of even failures or whatever, creating me that cautiousness to sit down and ask you, what will you have me to do? Some of us, God has given us words before. God has given us revelations. God has given us ideas that we have taken off. We have forgotten. These apostles, they remembered that Jesus Christ told them on prayer and on the word, that is what will make this ministry grow. We are not here to serve them. So they called back. Let God do something in my life that will make me to remember the things that God has spoken to me before. 
It's in the place of meditation that you can be able to remember these things. But most times, activities take it away. Seemingly victories, seemingly breakthroughs, and you are off. You are bodily present here, but your mind is already going everywhere. God should help you. God should help you. You can't pray and meditate when you can't sit down, sit still in God's presence and ask him, Lord, what do you have for me? And I pray that God takes us on a journey. That as we walk through life, we keep on asking these questions. We keep on taking an account and re-examining ourselves on a daily basis to know what is the will of God for my life. Because Jeremiah will say, Ezekiel will say, the best of a man cannot even direct himself. May God help us. Life is, life is nothing. Life is just a breath away. And if God does not help you, in vain do you gather all these things for. I pray God helps us. Our Father will thank you. I pray you help us to pray and meditate. But we know that we can pray and meditate if we can sit still. If we are not deliberate and intentional to sit still to hear. And we know that around us are victories, breakthroughs, plans, things to do for the year. But we know that the only thing that matters most is being in the center of God's way for our life. I will pray that you will do it for us today. That as we arise from this meeting, Lord God, who that deliberate, that consciousness to sit back and take an account. Therein lies the prayer life. Therein lies the victory. Therein lies the, the, the pathway to victory, to fulfilling your purpose on it. Do it in our lives, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.